We're going to show you an analytics-based application that IBM Research has developed to help manage equipment and operations targeted especially at companies in the natural resources industry. Now this is a $7 trillion industry running about $5 trillion worth of equipment pretty much 24-7. Now there's a great deal of financial leverage in managing this equipment better. Not just because the equipment's so expensive, but also because of cascading effects. So for example, if a digger like this were to go down, all the trucks that it's servicing would have to sit idle. Now take a look at this giant digger right here. Downtime for a machine like this can have a net financial impact of about $5 million per day. And here's a haul truck, which can have a downtime financial impact of about $1.8 million per day. Now we like to say the world is our lab, and all the photos you're seeing here are of our IBM research team on the ground in Australia working with experts at Tease Mining, one of our clients and one of the largest mine operators in the world. We learn a lot about trucks and heavy equipment and mining processes from them, and we combine this with our data analytics and modeling capabilities to deliver tools and applications that can help them run their business better. Now one such example is this vital signs application you see right here. This application is intended to be used by a, a site planner, for example, at a mine site. This person is responsible for the day-to-day, moment-to-moment decisions about what equipment will go where, what it should do, what equipment to pull in for inspections or maintenance, and very importantly, what spare parts to keep on hand. So the first person this planner wants to do is get a bird's eye view of all the equipment he's responsible for. So you see this fleet overview matrix here, which shows on the top all the individual different trucks in this case he's responsible for, and on the side, the critical components in these trucks. Uh, that uh, he wants to keep track of and keep track of the health of. Now each of the bars that you see here, the color and width of these, is indicative of the real wear and tear that a given component in a given truck has experienced over its lifetime. Now to derive these simple looking measures, we pull together lots and lots of data, both current and historical, in this case about five to ten years worth. Now this includes data from hundreds of sensors per truck, streaming continuously, all the loads they've carried, rates of fuel consumption, details of weather and terrain, physical and chemical analysis, analysis of the lubricating oils and all the maintenance, inspection, and repair records. We also have data and other information relating to the economics and logistics of mine operations so we can optimize more, uh, more holistically across the company. And we use all these data and our massive scale analytics and modeling capabilities to create mathematical models of each critical component in each piece of equipment to render the individual measures that you see here. Now, how does this compare to what companies do today? Well, most mining companies make equipment health decisions based on two factors, an estimated lifetime for a given type of component and the number of hours a component's been in service. So, just as we know, however, just like with human beings, the real health of a piece of equipment depends on a lot more than just how old it is. So let's take a look at some details, say, on this converter trans pump in this, in this particular truck here. Now the converter trans pump is a component that pumps fluid into the torque converter and the transmission, so it's a very important component. Now up top here you see some uh, information about the equipment and the portfolio of components uh, that are deployed. Uh, and down here you see some uh, actual wear indicators and leading indicators. Now take a look at the current time-based measure uh, that they use. Now again, this is the method that they currently use in mines, and you can see that based on hours of use, you can see that this converter trans pump is at 55% of its estimated lifetime. So based on this current measure, the site planner would conclude that everything's fine, nothing to worry about. But take a look at our real wear measure. Again, this is a measure of the real wear and tear that this component has experienced, and it says that this particular converter trans pump in this particular haul truck is at 97% of its expected life. It could fail any time now. So even though this component is chronologically young, it's apparently had a very tough life and presents a very high risk of costly infield failure. Now one final point here. People often ask us, you've done all these fancy analytics and modeling, why do you only show a single number? Why not show more detail? The answer is that typical initial users of this kind of application aren't accustomed to working with analytics apps. So we've been asked to take all this complex information and reduce it to a single form factor and having an interpretation that's pretty much like what they're used to using today. Then over time, as they get more comfortable with analytics and analytics apps, they can start tapping into the additional detailed information that's behind these tabs here to make more nuanced decisions. Now, just as we all know, component failure is not just determined by the wear and tear that has accumulated over a lifetime, but recent bad events such as overloading, operating in really bad weather, or just some abusive forms of driving can also cause premature failures. So we've created data-driven models for these leading failure indicators, as we call them, uh, that show um, you know, that are shown right here. Now to produce these, we generate over 200,000 tracking variables for each piece of equipment, and we then look comprehensively for patterns in these that correlate to near-term premature component failures, for example, within the next couple of days. And these particular leading indicators that you see here, taken together, indicate a, an increased near-term risk level for this converter trans pump of about 500%. 
meaning that it's five times more likely to fail than normal near term. So taking all of this into account, Site Planner would decide to do three things. Number one, order an immediate inspection on this converter trans pump in this truck. Number two, take immediate action to secure the spare parts and labor in case they're needed to swap this component out. And number three, make contingency plans for any production commitments this truck may have over the next coming days or weeks. This simple set of decisions, taken over just a few moments here, could easily have a combined revenue and cost impact of several million dollars for this mine site on this day. And based on a joint client study we did with a large mining company, the total financial impact, which is made up of additional production, uh, saved maintenance costs and spare parts costs, that would result if you scaled this across an entire set of mining operations, it would be about $3 billion per year for a $30 billion mining company. That's $3 billion a year to the bottom line. And we see this as just the tip of the iceberg for the kinds of impact we can bring to our clients as we bring serious information technology to operational domains where it really hasn't been before.